no sense in arguing who's wrong. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen. If you're new here, today's video is a one hour power hour. So I'm gonna be setting a timer. I'm gonna be seeing how much I can get done within the hour. So hopefully this can bring you some cleaning motivation and you can set a timer and do a power hour right along with me. So I have a list of some things that I wanna get done around the house. We will be working in the kitchen and in my bedroom today to just get some stuff knocked off of this to-do list. I have my own honey-do list for myself. <laughs> but I am pretty confident that I can get this done within one hour, but if not, hopefully I'll have motivated myself to keep going. But maybe I won't. I'll keep it real with you guys, I promise. So maybe after the hour, I'll just be ready to go sit on the couch and enjoy the rest of my day, which is fine too. Let's see what all we can get done within today's power hour. So let's get right into the video. So these next few clips, I am showing you everything that I'll be getting done in today's video, just to kind of let you know what you're in for. As you just saw, I did make myself a to-do list. That way I could check everything off as I went. I tried to keep it reasonable for myself. That way I didn't feel too overwhelmed, which is one good benefit of doing a power hour. That way you don't go in thinking I have to clean all day or for hours on end. You can just knock off a few of those things in your house that are top priority and you can get them done within an hour. I'm super excited for today's video. It's a collab with my friend Lauren here on YouTube. I recently found her channel and have just really been loving her content. She's a super sweetheart and I know that you guys will love her too. So if you're looking for new channels to watch, definitely click the link in my description box. I will link her latest video as well as her channel and Instagram. And whenever you go over to her video, be sure and let her know that I sent you guys. She just bought a new home and she's gonna be doing lots of room transformations. She does cleaning and lifestyle videos. So once you're done watching my video, be sure and go over and tell her hello. All right, so let's jump right into this power hour today. The start time is 3.20, so I'm giving myself one hour to see what all I can get accomplished. So I'm gonna be starting in the kitchen here. I have some dishes that I need to knock out really quick. They weren't on my list, but I feel like I needed to get them done before I could concentrate on any other area in my home. I picked up some Dawn Power Wash. I've been seeing quite a few people use it recently and it just looked super handy. So I wanted to try it for myself and my thought behind it is actually just to use it on dishes that need to be soaked and that just have a little bit extra stuck on food or grime. And then I'll use my regular Dawn um, soap to wash the rest of my dishes. I will say that the handle is a little bit hard to squeeze, so it's not realistic to use it for every single dish in my opinion. And while it is super sudsy, it actually isn't, it doesn't feel as strong as normal Dawn. So just keeping it real with you guys and letting you know my thoughts and opinions. So take that for what you will. I did like it and I do think that it works to get stuff off that is stuck on. If you're new here from Lauren's channel, hi, welcome. I am so happy to have you. I hope that you will enjoy today's video and click that subscribe button and join the family over here on YouTube. I will also link my Instagram below. I would love to have you over there as well. My name is Kristen. I am married. I am a new cat mom. I have two fur babies and I just love sharing them with you guys. You will get to see them a little bit later on in today's video. They always follow me around the house while I'm cleaning, so it's not hard to include them in the video because they're usually right there. What you're for. I would love to hear from you in the comments. Let me know how often you clean the inside of your sink. So I try to do it very often because I know that it just holds bacteria in there but I wanted to show you something to clean your garbage disposal with so sometimes mine can get a little smell to it 
They sell these lemon drop balls that you put down in your garbage disposal, run some water, and just let it run, and then you'll start to smell the lemon fresh scent, and I just really like using those whenever my garbage disposal starts to get a little bit of a smell to it, and after I just clean my sink because it makes the whole area just feel so fresh and clean. Maybe we can make the next thing on my to-do list was to change the sheets So I'm just moving into my bedroom now taking my old sheets off and remaking my bed So I've said this before but if you're new here I just want to repeat myself because I'm not a fan of the way my bed is made right now But I just haven't found a new duvet cover that I'm happy with so excuse the end product It's not picture-perfect so to speak but I need to start actually putting in an effort because I haven't tried too hard. But here's my little kitties. He was hiding under the entertainment center while I was making my bed and you can see them both just running around and playing. I truly love these little cats. I never thought I would be a cat person, I'm not gonna lie. This is the first time I've ever had a cat inside my house, but no regrets so far. I'm feeling a little extra chatty today. I hope you guys don't mind. But the reason that I'm not moving the blanket off of the bench here is because the cats get in and out of the bed at night and they were really starting to mess up my bench. It has a cloth top, so I have to figure out something to do about that. I'm gonna move to the other side of my master bedroom now and dust off this entertainment center. So I'm just using a dry rag to dust off the speakers and the TV screen first before I put any spray on it to dust the wood. Swimming in your love as deep as the ocean you luxurious straight down to the bone You don't need nothing but a t-shirt So it's already almost been a whole hour, but I'm gonna move into the kitchen and get my refrigerator cleaned out. It was a complete disaster. It was so messy and dirty and it just needed wiped out. I don't understand how a refrigerator can get so messy, but here we are. So I'm gonna go shelf by shelf and I'm gonna wipe down the shelf and then as I'm putting things back in, I'm gonna try to put them in a little bit neater and take out anything that is expired or old and go ahead and leave that out. I've really gotten out of the habit, but I try and clean my refrigerator out every week whenever I go grocery shopping. And now that I'm saying that out loud, I'm realizing that that's probably why I've gotten out of the habit. I used to make kind of like one big grocery trip. And honestly, I can go once or twice a day now. And so maybe I should start trying to go once a week. That way I can actually clean my refrigerator out. But it is super helpful if you can do it at least once a week to just get all of the old leftovers and food out of there and you always end up having more room than you think you actually do. You know your star, just look yourself in the eyes. Yeah, what a shot. So I have a fun question. I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Would you rather clean out your refrigerator or go grocery shopping? I think my preference would be go grocery shopping. So I actually enjoy grocery shopping. I know that can be kind of like a, it can go either way. Some people enjoy it, some people hate it, but I actually have always enjoyed grocery shopping. We just hit the whole hour of our power hour, but I'm gonna push past because I only have one or two things left on my to-do list. I'm gonna be using this carpet cleaner to get a stain. 
off of the back of my chair. It's the Folex brand and I got it at Lowe's. I would check Lowe's or Home Depot. Amazon is quite a bit more expensive for this product for whatever reason. So definitely go to Lowe's or Home Depot, but you just spray it on to your carpet or any kind of a cloth surface. You kind of massage it in and then you use a dry rag to wipe it clean. And it is seriously that easy. It comes clean. It's it doesn't harm any of your furniture or your carpet. I just really love this product. So we've come full circle. We're back in the kitchen. I saved this chore for last because it was least important in my mind. I had just cleaned the stove, but it somehow needs it again. I am the messiest cook. I don't know how. I try really hard not to be, but it just happens. And so it needed a whole wipe down again. I'm going to be using the Windex multi-surface disinfectant spray. So just spray that all around. And then I wet my sponge and scrub scrubbed off everything that was stuck on. And then I got a clean wet rag and just wiped off the cleaner and all of the gunk. I know it's easy to forget if I don't mention it, so I just wanted to invite you guys to like today's video if you enjoyed it. That way I know what you like and also it just really helps YouTube to push out the video. It tells them that people are enjoying it. And of course, if you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button, hit the bell next to it to be notified every time that I post a video. I make homemaking, lifestyle, and cleaning motivation videos here on my channel. I've created a few playlist in each category that way it's super easy to watch the type of videos that you enjoy so if you haven't already definitely check that out and I really hope that you guys are enjoying today's video when my head is full of questions and the sky is full of rain when I'm worrying about what I can't change Take a look at my reflection And try to make a funny face And for a second all my sorrows melt away Cause if we just smile We can forget all of our troubles for a while We can just live inside this moment You and I get through the darkness Knowing we'll find the light If we just smile if we just, if we just, if we just smile, ah, 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 yeah, if we just smile, ah, 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 ah. Don't forget to check out Lauren Yarborough's video. Be sure to tell her that I sent you guys over. And again, if you're coming from her channel, welcome and thank you so much for watching today's video. I will see you guys very, very soon. Make it all right. If we stick together, we'll be fine. Cause if we just smile.